All right, let's get this meeting started. Uh, again, we're talking about the phone screen when the alarm goes off. Now, after a lot of research, I've decided that the snooze button should go right in the middle. It's gonna be big and bold and really easy to hit. And the stop button off to the side, hard to see. Any questions? I just have to say, I love how you're thinking. Now that we've established dominance in the smartphone market, we can use it to crush Microsoft and Google. We'll get their employees to hit snooze and sleep in every morning, lowering their productivity and bleeding them out until our market share gets so big we buy them both. And then we shut them down and fire them all. <laughs> Just for sport. Uh, no, no, actually I was thinking that the uh, snooze button goes in the middle because it's hard to hit buttons when you're tired. Yeah, with our user testing, we tried stop in the middle, but when people were really tired, they would hit it and fall asleep for hours more. They were missing all kinds of important stuff. I get it now. <laughs> this is the screen we will see, but our competitors, they'll see stop in the middle. <laughs> and soon enough, when someone says to Google something, it will mean taking a once great company and turning it into a smoldering heap of ashes. And having all your employees become so overwhelmed with despair. Bill, I, I'm gonna stop you there. Uh, no, no, everyone's gonna see the same screen, this screen on the iPhone, okay? 100% of people. Well, can the alarms at least play subliminal messaging? We can have it tell people that when a watch runs out of batteries at 2 p.m. every day, that means it's a really good one. Yeah, that's a great idea. Tim will love that. And it will tell our competitors to walk to the nearest bridge. Bill, 